and uh, talk to you a minute. Uh, I woke up this morning with the song, There's Power in the Blood, on my mind. And uh, I love that song. And there is definitely power in the blood of Jesus. And uh, first off, before I get started, if you don't know Jesus, get to know him. Time is short. Time is very, very short. He'll be coming back soon. And I want to read this verse to you, or these couple of verses real quick. In Acts, let's see. In Acts chapter 3, verse 13 through 16. It says, The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant, Jesus Christ, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But you denied him, denied the Holy One and the just, and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God raised from the dead, of which we are witnesses. I'm going to stop right there for a minute. The rest of that I'll read to you here in a minute. But there's power in the blood of Jesus. Just as the song that we all sing, we sing it in church. There's power in the blood. So, do you want to see your family saved? Are you wanting to see healings? That's something I personally would like to see. Uh, me and my husband, we've talked about how when we were kids, church was a whole lot different than it is now. It was a whole lot better than it is now. Meaning, I remember personally being sick when I was a kid and being in my bed and waking up and my bed surrounded by people that my mom went to church with praying for me. And uh, people don't do that anymore. People don't. Um, it's like there's a coldness with some people. I'm not saying everybody. There are some that still really care about others. But a lot are there for, I guess, religious. Because they're religious instead of having a relationship with God that God has changed them. Uh, but there's power in the blood. That's the po point that I want to get across. And I want to read a few scriptures. Uh, the first one is 2 Timothy 3.5. It says, Having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Power. Power in the blood. Remember this as I read these scriptures. 2 Timothy 3.13 But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Titus 1.16 They profess to know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. Psalms 68, 35. O oh God, you are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Let me read the last of that verse again. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Luke 2449, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. The promise of his Father upon you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. Power from on high. The promise of his Father. Him being Jesus. Acts 1.8 but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit, it's also translated as the Holy Ghost, has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem 
and in all Judea and Samar Samaria and to the end of the earth. To the ends of the earth. It didn't stop over in the Middle East. It didn't stop with just the Jews. To the ends of the earth. Okay, and then again in Acts. Um, I'm reading chapter 3, verse 16 now. And his name. Whose name? Jesus Christ. And his name. Through faith. In his name. Faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him, him who? Jesus Christ. So the faith which comes through Jesus Christ has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. So faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 4.31 And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, also translated the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. They spoke the word of God with boldness. Second Timothy verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. And of love and of a sound mind. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Stop fearing. Stop fearing and have faith through the name of Jesus Christ and what he done for you. Stop fearing. God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of power. And of love. And of a sound mind. So have a sound mind. Have faith in Jesus Christ and his promises. Okay. Um, let's see. Malachi uh, chapter 3 verse 6. It says, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O son of Jacob. First part of that verse. What's it say? I am Lord. I do not change. God does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did then, he'll do for you now. You got increased faith and boldness through the name of Jesus Christ. He will do for you now. What he done for them... He will do for you now. He does not change. So, back to my question that I first asked. Uh, do you want to see healing people healed? Do you want to see your family saved? Because Jesus is coming soon. Then have faith in the power that is given you by the promises through God and His Holy Spirit. Have faith, have boldness through the name of Jesus Christ. Declare that your family will be saved. Ask the Lord, don't let my family die lost, dear Lord. I'm standing on your promises because you don't change. You don't change. Have boldness and have faith. He's the same today, yesterday, today, and forever. Love you guys.